Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. We're going to start off today by imprinting our chest piece uh, with this aspect of the protector that we pulled out. Uh, this is going to be overwriting our exploiters aspect which I'd quite like to get onto the boots but I don't want to extract it from this because it will destroy this so we're going to have to rely on finding another one. Um, this is going to cost us a little bit but it's uh, it's going to give us a fair bit more defensibility and I think that's going to be really important for us as uh, as we push on further and further. Right, we have 528 um, obols so I thought we'd start off very quickly uh, by doing a spot of gambling. We're going to be gambling for offhands, that's going to maximise the chance that we find either another one of these searing wards or another one of these incinerates and hopefully we can we can get them closer to perfect rolls and then we're going to carry on with dungeon diving Ooh, we're getting pretty good uh pretty good luck on these what have we got freeze don't care Hmm, smiting, it's not the worst, but it's not good. Perfect roll on the incinerate, look at that. That is, that is really good for us. So we're going to stick that on our weapon and that's going to give us an extra 30% damage. Another smiting, don't care. And ball lightning, don't care. We got one out of that, which is exactly what we wanted. Couldn't have asked, well we could have asked for more, but... Uh, couldn't have expected more, I think, is the uh, the right way of approaching that. Now, I did some uh, paper napkin maths calculations. If we carry on running uh, tier 17 dungeons, it's going to take 23 more dungeons in order for us to... Uh, let's, uh, let's extract this. 23 more dungeons in order for us to get our sigil up to rank 15. So that's, that's quite a lot. To put it to put it lightly look at that perfect roll really happy about that i kind of want to wait for a better weapon but we can always do this again another time do we have an exploiter hmm. that would be kind of cool if it could go on boots but can't no i think uh, i think we're good as we are uh let's go salvage up the remaining things um, yeah, 23 dungeons uh, will get it up to rank 15, which is going to take, like, if, assuming we do two to three a time, it's going to take us a while. So we're going to want to be running higher tier dungeons at a minimum. Not while I'm in town. It's always going to be a, a toss up between fast dungeons and um, experience laden dungeons. Why can we? There we go. Let's salvage all of these. Come back if you need the form. Okay, so let's uh, let's hop straight in and uh, we'll get on the next one. Tier seventeen. We could move up to tier eighteen right now. You know what? Yeah, let's um, let's give it a go. Tier eighteen. Uh, Tier 18 is going to be shadow damage over time. Do we have a shadow? Not really. Let's uh, let's just go for maximum life for now then. Yeah, this one with the unstoppable mobs. So this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. See uh, see how we handle it. Um, but it's also going to be good indication for us as we uh, as we move higher up the tiers for whether we're going to be able to take on that fallen temple. And I think once we reach level sixty five, we'll we'll give it some serious consideration on doing that. So we're looking for prisoners to free. Yeah. 
big hits in here. So these are now level 71 mobs that we're fighting. These um, explosions on the ground caused by the enemies, they are probably going to be very dangerous. So we really don't want to get hit by any of them. Makes a good sound though, so we know it's going to happen ahead of time. First prisoner unlocked. Now this episode we're probably only going to have enough time for two dungeons. Because we spent a bit of time faffing around at the start. But we can always finish off and uh, go for... Uh, go for some... Um, whispers. Out of mana once again. The monster is becoming unstoppable when they uh, reach 22%. Really isn't that much of a problem for us. Actually, see someone across that uh, little chasm there. They don't understand. Way to protect my home. Let's not find out how much damage it does. I really don't want to get hit by them unless we absolutely don't have a choice. Such a haunting sound as well. Like, almost like as their spirit leaves their body. Very, uh, very ghostly. Keep moving forwards. Now the um, the extra barrier that we've got coming in is only going to be when we're going up against elites, but a barrier is a barrier, so you know, for the times when we do have it, I'm sure it's going to be very useful. You know what, let's uh, put on our defence for a moment, just while we stand and deliver. Oh my god, he's got so much health. Burn him down. We've got Sacred Amulet out of it worth the time investment, I'd say. And the amount of um, a barrier that we've got coming in is more than our total life when it does go off. So when we're going up against um, big boss fights, I'm, I'm going to feel a bit happier. Like the last time we uh, we life. fought Varshan, it was a bit sketchy, and I know when we do the Fallen Temple, we're going to have to fight Elias, and that's going to be very sketchy. It's still one prisoner left somewhere. Don't know if we're going to have the damage output really to do wave after wave with these guys. Keep 
trying to put the damage out for now. Yeah, not convinced. Corpse bow definitely has to go. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, not quite. It was close. Just a couple of seconds more is all we would have needed on that. Okay, we're going to swing around this way. Because this kind of matches up with where we were before. Oh, we've got the protection shrine we can ignore what they're doing. Okay, that sort of fills out the middle bit of the map. Let's uh, let's burn these guys in one big go. is our final destination. Where is this last prisoner? I, lack the need of mana. I hope it would, wouldn't be a percentage of their health that actually gets exploded out. Because that would be a lot of damage. The uh, little bit that we're um, putting out with lightning now and then I have no idea how effective it is. Like, it's possibly one of the least useful abilities for our character. Let's get you freed. Now if we're doing a fighting retreat, at least it's gonna be in the right direction. Okay, onwards into the dark descent. So tier 18 seems to be fine for us. And I wonder whether the uh, expected tier is actually supposed to go up like your paragon points do. So four times per level rather than just once per level. Might be a, a bit aggressive to move it up that much. Maybe twice per level. Because there's got to be an anticipated scaling in that somewhere. Get the inferno out. You're gone, you're gone. Didn't see how much damage the lightning strike did to him. don't really need to come down into this corner but for completeness I do kind of want to kill the last of these guys. Yeah, he may be unstoppable but he's very dead. In, in just a second. I lack the need of man. Right. 
in order to reach this, we can go intelligence or strength. I think intelligence and dexterity is the right way for us to lead into that. got rid of the damage reduction that was coming in. We did have a little bit of a barrier in there, but that was just from our... It's the Butcher! Okay, he's, he's level 71. This is bad. But maybe we can get him. Like, if we keep our movement around him, perhaps we can keep away from him enough. That our barrier keeps us alive enough. Probably should have saved that. That was a mistake. Okay, he's two thirds dead. Out of mana. Burn, you son of a pencil sharpener. Oh, now he's unstoppable. Gonna be okay. I need time to prepare that. I'm low on precious Come on, there we go. <laughs> Damn, wow. Butcher gone. So the butcher can appear in nightmare dungeons and he scales to the dungeon in question. And we can take him. That does fill me with a lot more confidence for other mobs we might need to fight. Certainly having our barrier made the difference in that fight. They, I am not in two minds about that. Yeah. Definitely the, uh, the trick is to make sure he can't stun lock you. If you keep moving around him, then he's never going to get the hits on you that he needs in order to really do that level of damage. Out of mana once again. Hope he can't appear again in the same dungeon. <laughs> you know, we've we've done our penance on on the butcher for a while. Really satisfying being able to pull that off. Oh, 
and it's definitely down to relative power. Like, if we'd run into him on uh, on World Tier 4, I'm sure it would have been much, much worse. Or if we'd run into him earlier. Like, even just last episode, before I uh, got the barrier. You need the right balance of offensive and defensive. Okay, so those explosions do do a bit of damage. It's not an unreasonable amount of damage, but... It is definitely enough that you don't want to get hit by them. Just in case. Okay, this is our target. So we're going to have to go back and find... Look at that barrier. Gigantic barrier. Yeah. Grab all the stuff from in here. Let's go find where that thing is. It's going to be down in this little left section. Interesting. No death. Oh, there was death explosions. They just didn't happen at the time I expected they would. Right, let's back away from that a little. Go and grab the spoils of war. our stone carving. Grab that. It's funny how the explosion happens after the puddle of, um, of acid, because you'll have had time to move way away from it by the point it becomes important. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Kazra Abomination, you are going to be nothing compared to the Butcher. Half health with one single drive of flame. There he goes. Efficient. We'll take. My bags are full. Of course, we're full of stuff, right? Let's head back quickly. Salvage some things up. We can get back in in just a moment. Keep my floor chart. Return soon. With three million gold, we don't need to do any selling right this second. So let's keep it simple. All right, that will get put into there. Needs another 40, 30 something for the next level. Let's head back. We'll have a look at the items that we picked up, see if there's anything we want to use, and then we'll hop in. So tier 18 was fine, we could move to tier 19. I think tier 18 was, was fine with a butcher in there. Okay, what have we got? 
plus three potion capacity is interesting. Doesn't have the flat damage reduction. Overall, it's um, it's quite a good um, set of trousers, but our current ones are better. That's what it comes down to. Interesting plus two ranks to conjuration skills, because that would go up to plus three ranks. But I don't care about the critical strike charts. Don't care about the thorns. There's too much on there that we don't care about. This is just going to go. Raymond to the infinite again. Just going to go. And that is Frost Nova and Teleport. Neither of which are useful to us. Let's drop gems off and uh, we'll head into another dungeon. Okay, that's a tier 18. So we did a tier 18 just fine. We could push and do tier 19. Monster lightning damage. Yeah, let's um let's get in and do this. Into Garen Hold. dive inside before the lightning hits. Yeah, we're definitely able to put enough damage out on this. They do a little bit of damage with their explosions, but it's not too bad. difficulty is mostly going to be in the um, the annoyance of having to reposition all the time. Finish the battle pass. There is nothing more for us to do on grinding levels. We've got all the rewards. Now, not being on the premium pass, there's been nothing really for us to gain in terms of benefit for quite a few levels of it, but... Still nice to have it done. Right. You guys all done? I think you are. There is one of the idols. I think this is a good opportunity for us to step away from the room. He 
He is pretty beefy. With that uh, shaman gone, yeah, everything is clear. Cool, one down, two to go. Yeah! Oh no, now <laughs> we managed to get inside. No, I'm not having you make me run away. It's just going to be really inconvenient. Okay. Keep on down here. We're still looking for more idols. Vulnerable. Tactical invulnerability after having been walled in. This is why we don't use it just willy nilly. Spikes. If the enemies get hit by them, they're not going to be made vulnerable for very long. That is one of the um, modifiers for this dungeon. Reduction of uh, vulnerable effects on mobs by 45%. So if you're a, a vulnerable creating slash leaning build, that could have a significant effect on you. we're not. So, doesn't make much difference to us. I'm out of mana. Yeah, that is a devious thing over there eating up our resources. Uh, I popped my fire shield. Sorry, but that is just not on. If you if you decide you're going to not give it to me at that point. Do not like the idea of lag kicking in like that. Still good though, we can keep moving forwards. That is the second of the idols. Burning as we can out. There it goes. I 
Okay, so one more idol to find. It's probably going to be back the way we came. But we'll carry on exploring up this way just in case we get lucky. check down this side passage. Hey, there it is. Dodged. That's massively inconvenient. Well, that'll make him explode, so we should be able to proceed into the dungeon. This way we go. Into the halls of Cinder. Surviving the attack in itself is absolutely fine. The problem is all these mobs just fill the space. And some of them of course are vampiric. You get rid of you gone. Yeah. On we go. Let's find Keeper Zorlim. get the key. Behind door number one, we have more fallen. going on these guys it might not even be this way because the path split back there okay I see him on the map We'll uh, grab this chest first. I'm not Because I can't resist the extra gold. Here we 
we go. We know he's going to explode, so let's just stand away a teeny bit. Got the key. Let's move on, find the door. Hey, look, it's just up here. Okay, I think we're ready to fight whatever's in here. The Spirit Caller of Flames. He's got some, some bouncy uh, firewalls. There we go. Paragon point goes in. That's going to go into dexterity. We've got enough space to pick up these things. So let's grab them. Look at that massive spear. I would totally take that. We'll upgrade our glyph. And we've got a couple of XP to keep putting into it. So that was a tier 19. I want to say no trouble because it felt like it went pretty well. See some steel you need. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Uh, crowded Sage. I don't think we have anything of the Crowded Sage at the moment that we want to upgrade. No, we don't. So that goes. Got some good in it. Meteorites. Ooh. So this is interesting because of the plus two um, defensive skills. And the damage reduction. Even though the damage reduction roll is low. But the damage reduction from distant enemies. So it's quite a defensive amulet. It's interesting is what it is. <laughs> What's left, you ask? Hmm. Needle Flare Choker. When we uh, eventually move on to doing a Thorns-based Barbarian or something next season, that could be very cool for us. All right, we need five Grim Favors relatively quickly. We could go do the Seething Abomination. That seems like it's going to take a while. I think our best bet is going to be to come up here, do the harvesting, and maybe the scorched cellar as well. So at this point, this is just for the uh, the extra XP from uh, from doing the grim favors. I actually want to kind of come down here, do an event, look for the decomposer. Like, we'll get a couple of things in this area. Because the body's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. Lethal Shrine will help it along even further. Yeah. 
Champion of Evil. There he is. So we'll get this guy gone quickly. Nice. Then we'll do the event. And we'll head up towards the uh, the cellar at the same time. Because the event is going to be quick. Really quick. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what to say. You almost feel a bit sad for the summoners. Where we've just come in and obliterated all that. Okay, we've still got a couple of orbs over here. Let's grab them. And we'll start riding up towards the cellar. I need time to okay, we've got enough for the region harvesting, or culling, I should say. I want to do the, uh, the cabin first, though. Because this is going to be very quick. Super fast. One more whisper silenced. Right, let's get out and let's do the big ones. I need time to prepare that. There they go. Once they finish their explosions, we can head across to the tree. Right, on the map. Down we come. Sharma just watches this vanish straight into the big blue portal. Now, question is, what options are we going to get over here? Uh, chest plates, amulets, two-handed weapons. Let's go for two-handed weapons. Nothing explicitly awesome. That's a bit of a shame. But what are you going to do? Okay, well, we still have a few minutes, so we could go and get another couple of whispers. Slaying goat men near here could be fun. I cannot do that here. Right, out of town. Let's find Goatman. Fourteen gone. I completely forgot to put on my potion again for the second dungeon. 
the uh, the butcher threw me. That's what thing. That's what it is. The butcher threw me. The extra five percent probably wouldn't be enough to have taken us over, but we would be closer. Almost got enough. Still need a few more. Okay, whisper silenced. Well, we could do the event. What's the event need us to do? Is it rescuing people? Raising the effigies, okay. So that is one done. That is two done. Done. Let's find the big guy in the center and make his day significantly more explosive. Okay, I think that's probably gonna do for this episode. We could uh, carry on doing a few more. Um, but it's uh, it's going to be busy work, uh, and instead I think we'll uh, we'll just clear things up, ready for the next time. So we'll just uh, hop down and salvage all this up. So close to being level sixty three, we're definitely going to hit that next time. And up to our stash over here. We'll just uh, drop these bits off. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.